My name is Lee Fickling and I am from Durham, North Carolina. I am the Executive Director of the Disability Management System at Duke University and Health System. I am the proud parent to nine-year-old twins and my daughter Ava has diabetes. She was diagnosed when she was three years old and we are six years into the diabetes game. This is something that's a disability under the ADA, and because of that, she has rights. And trying to help her, even as a three-year-old, be able to understand these are your rights and we're not gonna let people discriminate against you. So we've been advocating from the very beginning, not just for her, but also for the people that she considers to be her diabetes brothers and sisters. And we certainly are very strong advocates. We're ready to stand up and speak for Ava's rights. Um, but there may be other families that out there that don't have that same voice that we have. And so I think that the difference that we make is being able to stand up and ask for what she needs and know that we're helping to pave the road not just for Ava but for people that are coming behind her that may fall into the same situation. I think that if you're a first-time person newly diagnosed with diabetes I think that you need to take time to breathe in the beginning and know that this is a long road. I think that your best steps can be with advocacy is trying to think about what are your immediate needs, what are the things that you need right now, um, and sort of creating a plan for yourself to be able to figure out, okay, right now we have a new school year that's ahead of us. What are the types of accommodations that we know for sure that we're gonna need during this academic year? Rather than thinking about we need to plan out everything from kindergarten through high school and then plan on college and graduate school and employment, let's think about this upcoming academic year alone. There are a lot Lots of families, especially people that are newly diagnosed, and when you think about new technology that's out there, and especially whenever you're thinking about new pumps, new CGMs, or you know, wanting to get a little bit more supplies than maybe your insurance wants to give you, my best advice would be don't give up. Read the papers that are coming in the mail. Read your EOBs that are coming from your insurance plan. Know what you're being charged. And don't be afraid to speak up to your doctors, and don't be afraid to ask for something, you know, because the insurance is gonna do their thing as far as processing claims but you as the parent need to really stay on top and be very aware of what's happening with your child and stay sort of on top of things.